Okay, one of the first things I did when I bought the trailer is I upgraded the battery system uh, on my own pretty much within the first couple weeks. So, in the baggage or storage location, I took the wall that was existing. Uh, when you lift up the bed, I added some um, panel there myself and a couple extra boards here just so there was a flat surface for everything to mount to. But we've got three uh, 100 amp hour battle born lithium batteries the 3000 watt multi plus inverter charger and the MPPT 15070 solar smart uh, or smart solar charge controller. Uh, now for you electrical conscious people, you probably already noticed a couple weird things. So the um, charge controller is just kind of ready to go uh, for when I start adding panels. There will be a fuse that will go here in line for the positive. Um, I don't have that, uh, it's in the mail, it's coming tomorrow. Uh, so that'll be put in in line <clears throat> for the positive coming to the batteries. Um, and then along uh, this track up here, all the way down, this is where the new lines will be run for the power up on the roof. This was the existing lines coming from the 50 watt panel that comes with the Wolf Pup. So we're gonna pull those back and we're gonna run some uh, either four gauge or two gauge. I haven't, I haven't decided yet. Probably just gonna do two since I already have a bunch of it uh, to the roof. Now, um, so once I get the panels uh, start going by one, they'll, uh, this is all set up. So all I gotta do is they'll just get attached to the roof and then they'll get tied into the combiner box on the roof and then solar will be able to be expandable. But for the system stuff, it's built in here um, already ready to go. Um, let me get a little bit closer to the battery bank and I'll show you what uh, all the different connections are. Okay, from the inside, um, uh, the bed lifts up and it's able to stay up. The struts here that hold it up came with the bed, so that worked out perfectly. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to kind of monkey in here real quick. All right, so from inside the storage bay, here's a little closer setup to the batteries. Um, we have the three batteries I mentioned. You've got your shutoff from the battery bank to the inverter. And then I just have the normal um, shutoff over there that came with the trailer um, still in line. So, uh, and then I have my surge guard, which allows me to just plug in without that big bulky thing on the pedestal and it does its own protection and all that. Um, now how I set this up is in parallel for the batteries. And basically what's happening is this is the 12 volt line that's running uh, down and uh, down underneath the trailer and ends up in the panel. So that's what's supplying the 12 volt for all the stuff inside the trailer. So the lights and all that stuff. And then from the battery bank, we've got a four rot cable that runs up through a 400 amp fuse into the shutoff and then into the inverter charger. Now, then I have uh, again, four watt, uh, four watt jumping between the other two batteries. And then this uh, two gauge line is what's running over to the positive bus bar, uh, mainly for like little accessories instead of having everything just sit on the terminals. It keeps them all nice in one place. So um, that two gauge comes to the positive bus bar and then the other two gauge coming out is what's going to the solar charge controller. And then these little guys is one is the uh, powering the shunt for the battery monitor and the other positive is for this guy which is the bluetooth dongle so that i can see this uh in the app the victron app and so that everything can talk to one another within their own network the negative terminals are pretty similar we have the end of the line here for negative everything jumps to um, this battery and then we go to the shunt uh, the only thing that should be connected to that end of the shunt is your battery nothing else so then coming off that other end, I have a two gauge that goes to the negative bus bar. Um, and this is your uh, negative that goes to the chassis. And then this is the negative that goes to the solar charge controller. And then I have the other little negative that is for the other end of this guy. Uh, so yeah, it's, um, it's actually pretty, it looks complicated. It's actually pretty simple. Um, idea. I didn't invent any of this myself. I definitely did some research and looked at other people, uh, other people's installations. Um, I know a little bit of electricity myself. I'm not an expert, but I know how things flow and I was able to, you know, kind of put all that together. Um, and then I have gotten a couple questions on, on how the inverter works with this setup. 
So I mentioned this surge guard here. So what's happening is I have, um, I think it's 10 gauge, but S00, uh, 00W rated cable. It's pretty, pretty thick power cable. And what's happening is there's two lines, your AC in and your AC out. So your 120 volt basically. And in the cabinet where the electrical is, is where your shore power comes in. So what I did is I undid the existing uh, cable that was with the coach and then I would I ran uh, that line and attached that to the shore power. So when you plug in, power comes through that outlet, runs down the trailer, comes up here into the inverter, and then the inverter sends that AC back out all the way through here again, down and back, and then it goes straight into the 120 side of the electrical panel, which powers all of your outlets. And the reason why it goes back and forth is because that's the whole point of the inverter. It's taking the power in and it's sending it back out because what it has is a transfer switch. And so if you're, <clears throat> so if you're plugged in, it's going to automatically just route that 120 as if you didn't even have this thing in line. But let's say you lose power, it's going to immediately swap to run off of battery power. So now the batteries are coming through here and shooting down the line and supplying power to both your 12 volt side and your 120 volt side. Um, hopefully, hopefully I explained that pretty clear. Uh, <laughs> um, but that's basically uh, how that's run. So AC in and out, and then your 12 volt um, system throughout the batteries. Uh, and then the, that AC in line that I was talking about just stops here at the surge guard. So it goes into the surge guard and then out the surge guard and that's what's going into there. So from the outlet, it goes, the cable goes from the, uh, out, the outlet where the 120 comes in when you're on shore power. It comes down the trailer, up into the trailer, into the surge guard, out of the surge guard, into the inverter, out of the inverter, back out on its own separate line to power the 120 side of the electrical panel. Okay, so yeah, sounds like a lot, um, but it's pretty simple when it's in um, context and everything like that. So again, uh, this is pretty much the battery setup I ended up doing in the trailer. It's not completely finished. There's a couple cleanup things I wanna do and um, things like that. But for the most part, it's pretty much in and ready uh, for the rest of it, which is pretty much just the solar stuff. So again, solar controller is all ready to go. Once I run the, uh, I gotta add a fuse here. And then once I run um, the positive negative lines from the panels or the combiner box in the roof, those will get mounted up. They'll have a breaker in line. They'll come through and get fed up to the roof from the existing line that came with the trailer. So yeah, that's what I like about this uh, type of trailer. It's pretty inexpensive, but you can, you can pretty much do um, whatever you'd like uh, with it. And uh, you know you have the space to do it, and it's all basic materials you get at Home Depot if you ever need to do your own installation. So uh, anyway, that's the electrical setup, and then I'll have uh, another video here of some of the other mods that I did, but this one was gonna be the longest explanation, I believe. So that is the electrical upgrade in my 2021 Wolf Pup uh, TS, 16 TS.